There is a better way in Robot Mesh to control both of the wheels, and it's called the drivetrain feature. Let's take a look. First, you want to get over to this area here, again, by clicking on these bars. This will open up this window. And now what we want to do is change this to left motor and this one to right motor. Next, I want to go into the settings and you can see it's a motor selected and I want to make sure that this one is reverse polarity, the left motor, and let's go into the right motor and this one we don't want reverse polarity, we want just motor. That way when they're facing back to back, like they are here, one will be turning one direction, the other one will be turning the other direction, but they'll both be going either forward or reverse. And then down here under drivetrain, configure drivetrain here. Click on this, select enabled. The name is DT for drivetrain, or you could call it something else. And then the left motor will assign left motor to, and right motor we're going to assign the right motor to. Let's leave wheel travel alone and track width alone as well. And again here you can choose the polarities. We have one reverse polarity and the other one not reverse polarity. Click OK and I'm going to close this window now. I'm going to select all of this. I'm going to put it in the garbage. Robot Mesh Start here. And now this time I'm going to go under Drivetrain. I'm going to choose this one. Drive forward at a power of 100 until distance, let's say, 500 millimeters. And then I want to, next I want to sleep. And then back to Drivetrain. Drivetrain off. Let's widen this window. I'm going to zoom out a little bit and let's run this program. And there it goes. So it drove forward until distance of 500. So what this does then is the drivetrain forward or reverse controls both of those motors. So let's change it to reverse. I'm going to hit stop. I'm going to hit run again. Now it should go this way towards the bottom of the screen. And there it is. Again, a much quicker way to assign both motors to one drivetrain and control them both.